Oh, he moved again. Okay. Because I know he's in Chicago for a spell. He was in Chicago for about a year. Okay. Then he moved to the loft, then he moved to Florida, and uh, he's doing pretty well for himself currently yeah. <laughs> in Smash Ultimate. Yeah, uh, I think we're just rocking it. Yep, going right straight in. Straight to it. There you see the, the best of five moniker yep. in the top left of your screen. Yep, this always will be a full set. Yeah, so definitely going to be a lot of adaptation for these two players just to figure out how they're going to win. Right now, Utopian Raid definitely trying to play a more arrow game, trying to avoid these banana setups that Zenodo likes to go for. Banana is a good tool to try and answer air to air, but you have to make sure that uh, Palutena doesn't catch the banana, so you have to make sure yep. your timing is just impeccable. Yep, Zenodo getting a punish on the rapid jab there. Let Utopian Raid land next to the ledge here. Here we go, getting uh, more stage control here, just fighting him off to the edges as best he can. So much space to work with that you see just Zenodo retreating, trying to make these uh, approaches from Ray a little bit more predictable with s just the addition of space. Yeah, I mean, the last thing you want to do is just make your game plan apparent. So being able to work with this kind of space just makes it easier for someone to try and space off the other player and see how they're trying to approach you. I do think that is like the one flaw of Palutena is her neutral game is kind of predictable. Like you, you're going to see a dash grab come in, you're going to see a dash attack, you're going to see a back air or a neutral air. Those are just kind of the options you have when you're at a certain spacing. Yeah, that is true. And you just got to kind of bait those out and punish accordingly. And Diddy Kong is the perfect customer to deal with those. Yeah, I mean, just being able to allow space, safely poke in with the banana just in case you're not quite sure what they're going to do. But a smash, also another good option to be able to catch those approaches. When you're stuck on a platform in Smash Ultimate, it is harder to get down with the lack of things like shield dropping, yeah. the lack of a lot of those, just the ease of movement down from a platform is definitely nerfed in this game. Yeah. You catch them with an up smash from time to time. Yeah, it's weird how much of an impact those little minor changes to the shield physics have had on this game compared to Smash 4. Oh, definitely. I mean, he's hoping to just trying to catch Zenodo approaching him, throwing out all these snares and tilts. But I've seen this game before, though. This is the <laughs> problem. I've seen Zenodo with a stock lead versus Tyra's Bayonetta, yep. pre-patch Bayonetta, saying, I dare you to heal slide me, yeah. right? Like, if I know what your option is and you're trying to approach me and I'm Diddy Kong, I'm just going to sit back. Yeah. That's the way it be. Yeah. Diddy Kong with the lead is still one of the strongest characters. Clearly, that's what Zenodo's trying to show. Yeah, I mean, you just see Utopian Ray constantly hopping around, trying to bait out approaches, but Zenodo just being patient, punishes those hops, and gets another stack for it. Now trying to get a combo going at this, uh, this kind of, he's at a weird rage percent where it's things out of these up throws aren't working yep. as cleanly as you might Ooh. like, but all right, Explosive Flame gonna catch you. Yeah, and that's just such a nice move because it just stays out so long where if your opponent doesn't get between you and the explosive flame, you're not really going to get punished for it just because of how huge it is. It's Zenodo in a prime position here. Yeah. Edge trap this Palutena. She does have like the, the cheeky teleport cancel stuff, but no room to make it happen. Yeah. And whoa, what? call him out. <laughs> okay. I was not expecting him to teleport directly onto the stage there. Maybe he was hoping to catch Zenodo sleeping there, but Zenodo just calling it right out with a forward smash. No hitbox on the, the teleport, of no. course, from Palutena, so. Yeah. Jeez. Nowhere to run. I mean, Zenodo was just controlling his zone extremely well that match, just letting his opponent do whatever he wanted to, just jump around, nair, explosive flame, targeted shots, but nothing was hitting him, so. It really just forced Utopian into having to try and approach him, and that's playing right into Zenodo's hands. And now I have to question the, the run back to Pokemon Stadium because with so much space for Diddy Kong to work with the banana throw and the, the the neutral just style of gameplay that Palutena presents, I feel like this stage is great for Zenodo. Yeah, I mean, every time you've seen Utopian Ray approaching, Zenodo's always had that extra space to work with to just back off and avoid a lot of these approaches here. But with that said, Utopian making good work of just this particular three or four character lengths away spacing in this particular game. Yeah, a lot of it's going to come down to just finding that sweet spot of where you can easily react to Banana 
but also find those openings when he sees an do something unsafe. Nice use of the explosive flame there, prevent him from being able to reach the ledge. Going all the way across though is Zenono, gonna find a recovery. From there, the back air is gonna snipe. That's something you need to make sure happens if you're Palutena, right? You wanna make yeah. those air to air advantages yours. Yeah. And that's one nice thing for Palutena that they did carry over from Smash 4. That extra armor that the shield provides, because for dash attack in the back air, it's definitely hard to beat those moves out because of that shield. That Nair surprisingly fresh, gonna take the stock at like 135, 150. Yeah. On this Diddy Kong. And now suddenly Zenodo bleeding a lot because this Utopian race stock is looking nice. Yeah, I mean, he's only at 80% now after that combo, but 60% beforehand. And he's definitely been doing a much better job of finding openings on Zenodo here and just playing at a distance that's uncomfortable for Zenodo. Platform pressure starting to, to add up for Zenodo. Yep. Ooh, okay, riding that whole lip of Stadium 2. I was actually scared. Yeah, and I mean, just using that Nair to force him low is another nice thing that Palutena has. That was the boldest barrels of all time. Yep. He's just like, I'm gonna sneak right into your dang face with these barrels. Yeah, and I mean, that's the downside of Explosive Flame. It covers a wide area, but if your opponent gets past it, there's not much you can do afterwards. Diddy Kong particularly adept at finding an angle above the Explosive Flame if he just reads it, that's the option. But yeah. fortunately, Ray not opting for that too much right now. I'm trying to put this monkey in a corner. Yeah, but I mean, with that monkey flip, definitely making it difficult to keep him pinned down here. And Utopia Ray at 151% right now. Got to be careful about that. Up tilt, still not enough. Okay, confident recovery and delay, but you're going to get back thrown with Rage. Yup. See you there later. There we go. So Utopian Ray evening up the stocks, but still has to be careful on Harnes. Never mind, he's gone. Still two stocks to one. Great spot for Ray. Yeah, I mean, anytime you can build up that lead and keep it as long as you can, it's definitely going to pay off. Even if you, the stocks end up even, odds are you're going to have a percent lead to work with. Okay. We talked about how good Diddy is with the lead, where he's just forcing you to approach, but Diddy from behind, yeah. suddenly a completely different story. You're When you're down this much and you don't have really too much of a comeback factor to speak of, you got to force the issue. Yeah, and I mean, against a character like Palutena, that's definitely hard to do because a lot of her moves have a lot more range than Diddy's. Particularly this form of Diddy, the ultimate Diddy, where yep. you don't have the fair that just kind of was a sword. <laughs> Monkey foot sword back in the day. You got you got to fight for it now. Oh, yeah. I think that backer was trying to lead into a banana trip, but yeah. all right, that was a nice combo. Yeah, down tilt fair. I yeah. like it. I mean, anytime you can get a little bit of percentage safely, it's always nice. But I mean, you just see Utopian Ray just playing on these platforms, recognizing that Zenodo's trying to look for an opening with banana or a grab in order to get the stage control here. But all right. Yep. Throw the banana and then immediately forward smash out of that dash. That's going to close this gap a bit. Yep, still a little bit of work to do though because Utopian Ray still has a percent lead here. Oh, trying to snipe with the explosive flame. Very close to landing, but confident spacing from Zenodo. Yep, monkey flipping high, getting back onto the stage here. And slowly but surely, he's starting to close up this percent difference between the two. Yep, these banana hits all lead to about like 25%, 30%, which is solid. Yep, starting to add up. There we go, catching Zenodo with that back air, giving Utopian race stage control, forcing an air dodge here. I actually was scared. I thought that that air dodge away might have meant that Zenodo couldn't make the recovery <laughs> yeah. back, but we're good. Yeah, fortunately, Barrel still got good distance on him. One safe smash attack, getting him back thrown here. I think Zenodo thought that the smash attack wouldn't angle that far ahead of the banana, and then he'd be in a safe spot where the banana covers him on a dash grab. But, you know, we see what happened. Yep. Oh, shucks to the banana out there. Really hard. What? What, <laughs> what in Sam Hill happened there? Holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game is still ridiculous. Zenodo's got that face where he's like, you know. I I'm gonna, guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sneak by with that. All right, instant replay. Okay, what uh, even happened here? This is actually not quite the interaction yet. Okay, double fair. Yep. That the banana ba sets up this edge yep. guard attempt. He goes really deep for that down air, but the barrel's sent to the stage spike, and 
I yeah. think that was a tackable one, because there, there are a lot of new one tackable yeah. situations that weren't previously in the game, but I think that one was tackable. Still a really awkward angle for Palutena to make it back yeah. regardless, even if she did tech that, so just really strange occurrences on that edge guard. Yeah, so that gives an old game two here. So Utopian Ray on his winner's game here. Got to make something happen if he wants to stay on the winner's side of things. All right, patting him away. Yep, nice continued pressure. Up smash actually catching him with the two frame there. So using the speed of Palutena to snipe out. No, no, so far carrying him from the right all the way to the left, but now this grab is going to say otherwise. Yep, Zenono getting a little bit of damage before getting sent right back into a disadvantage here. Okay, monkey flip kick not as strong as it was previously, but still can win out in some situations. Yep. Good pressure coming out from Utopian Ray at the ledge here. And the two frame with the down tilt leads to a fair enough to KO the monkey. Yep, and that's exactly what Utopian Ray needs to take advantage of. A lot of that linear recovery that Diddy Kong has nowadays. Yeah, that two frame down tilt, if you can just find the perfect timing for it, it's so strong. I know, and it just lasts so long too, so it definitely makes getting that two frame a lot easier. Mm hmm, definitely. But now, Zeno trying to claw back into this. Alright, down tilt, leading to fair. No, not meant to be. Cool. But you get a little bit of juice on that forward smash. Alright, Banana clutching it out this time. Yep, relatively even percent overall here, but Utopian Ray trying to keep this percent lead as long as he can. Fighting back. Palutena now gets to put on corner pressure of her own. And ooh! Nice pressure there. She's using all these projectiles from the up smash, from the standard B, from the side B. Yeah. I'm surprised, Strong moves. I'm surprised Explosive Flame didn't destroy the banana there. Huh. That is weird. The more you know. Diddy doesn't look too uh, dismayed by that, though. He's able to get a couple of hits in edgewise because of that interaction. Yep. Now going to get this back throw and just put Palutena in the corner for herself. Yep. And then I'll just be impatient here. Let Utopian Ray try and find his way back and trying to respond to what Utopian Ray picks here. All right, good shield pressure. Yep. Fortunately for Diddy, the shield pressure is not quite as good on the platforms as it is on the ground, so... The platform play Utopian Ray has been using more often in this set has definitely helped him out. Another confident barrels, but all right, Ray is in the perfect position and not trying to nair, I think, so he's setting up for it, but all right, Ooh. eat the neutral get up, see ya later. Yep, so Utopian Ray has to stock advantage. It's just a matter of keeping it as long as he can now. So I'll just be patient, trying to let Utopian Ray come down and respond to it in kind, but. Also, you see how low Zenodo's shield was for just a yeah. second there? He couldn't shield much longer at all. He had to put on different kind of pressure with his spacing, and now Ray taking advantage of that. Not sure if he wanted that ledge cling there, but he manages to make it out regardless. You can't even banana throw in time to punish auto radical. That move is so buffed. I know. That move's insane. Honestly, just all the buffs in general to Palutena since Smash 4 are just phenomenal for the players that were loyal to her during that time. Or Ray, who played Rosalina and then was like, I'm going to play the next best queen. Yeah. And see you later. <laughs> it's all about the guys. Now respect, you play the top <laughs> tiers, dude. Play them. Yeah. Top tiers are nice. Yep. There we go, the classic Diddy Kong combo, down tilt to up smash, managing to connect there. So, winner's stock here for Utopian Ray. Yeah, he has to hold on. I think uh, we have some pop-ups in the crowd. Yeah, I mean. That's why Mickle doing some shouting. Mickle and Advil? All right. I see them. Yeah, I mean, hey. I see you. I see you. You got to give the support where it's needed. I mean, it's like now that Zenodo's even things up, he's able to control the pace of the match a lot more easily, to be honest, because he doesn't have to approach as insistently as he did earlier. Mm -hmm. We definitely talked about that in game one, where it's just. When you have a lead, it doesn't matter if the lead's 40% or yeah. two stocks in 40%. Like, you can play Diddy Kong the same way with that advantage. Yep. Well, these explosive flames have all been so close, but mm, not oh. quite enough on the down to up smash. Next one definitely could do it, so Utopian Ray has to be careful here. And you see him staying on these platforms, trying to drop down and jump back up to try and bait out an option from Zenodo here, but 
Zanon's playing too far away from the tag safely. Ooh, that'll do it. I don't know what that up smash was meant to be. I don't know if he meant to think that Zanotto would be on that platform, but yeah. clearly the risk did not match the reward, and yeah. Zanotto gonna take the 3-0 into yeah. Grand's winner's side.